Hi everyone, it's Sadia. So for today's video, I decided to rank my blushes from one to five. And basically, I love blushes. They just give such a nice wash of color to the skin, and they just give you such a youthful, delicate, innocent looking appearance. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So at number five, I placed the Hourglass Ambient Lightning Blush in Diffused Heat. And the reason why I placed it at number five is because I just feel like you pay way too much for the amount of product that you get. You only get really 0.15 ounces of product for $44 and I just feel like that I just didn't get my money's worth. Also, I feel like this blush is just too subtle and I prefer blushes that are very pigmented and I just feel like when I try to build it up, I just don't get the color that I want. And then when I place it on my skin, I only get the glow and the sparkle. I don't actually get the pigment. So let me just show you how this blush actually looks. So it looks like this. And yeah. The blush I placed at number four is the NARS Orgasm X blush. It's actually, um, it was the blushes that NARS came up with in the beginning of this year. And the reason I placed it at number four is because it just looks so orange on my skin tone and just has that red undertone. It makes me look a bit sunburned. I just really don't like that and it looks too shimmery on my skin and it just emphasizes, you know, my texture of the pores on my skin. So yeah, so let me just show you how it looks like. And it looks like this. All right, so in third place is the Anastasia Blush Trio in Pink Passion. And it looks like this. And basically, this blush, um, it's really pretty. I really like this shade and I love this shade. Now this shade, this middle shade right over here, um, I just feel like it's too sparkly. It looks too hot pink on my skin tone and it just makes me look a bit like a clown appearance and I feel like the sparkles, they emphasize my texture, like my lines, my pores. And also I feel like with the blush brush, you can't just get one shade, like you get multiple shades. And just when I mix them, it just doesn't look that nice on my skin tone but however they blend really well and they're pigmented and I really love these two colors. In second place I use this blush a lot and it is the NARS Orgasm uh, Super Orgasm blush and basically it looks like this and it's just so beautiful. I have been wearing this nonstop ever since I got it. It is so pretty. It gives you such a beautiful glow on the skin. The sparkles don't emphasize your texture or your pores. And it's just so nice and pigmented. And it gives you that, you know, rosy flush of skin. Just makes it look so delicate and so youthful. I get compliments while wearing it. And I just feel like it's so flattering on, you know, any kind of skin tone. So that's why it is at number two. All right, so now it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Drum roll. It is the Laura Mercier um, Color Infusion Blush in Rose, and it is so pretty. Let me show you guys. It basically looks like this. It's so beautiful. Ever since I got this, I've been wearing this non-stop. It's just so pretty, it blends so well, so easily, so effortlessly. With some blushes, I just keep blending, 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 blending. With this one, I just blend like in, you know, two minutes and it's done. And it just has such a nice finish, a nice matte finish. It just gives you such a beautiful, rosy wash of color to the skin, makes it look so delicate and so nice. I just feel like the amount of price that you pay for and the amount of product is just totally worth it. And it just, you know, it has a balance between subtle and pigmented. Like it's not too pigmented, but not too subtle either. And, um, you know, it's so versatile. You can change it to day to night. And I just feel like you can build it up or build it down. And so that's why it's at my number five. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and stay beautiful.